Welcome to Creating Connections Podcast, episode 101. I am Mitch Taylor. And I'm Vicki Musney. And maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't. Can I address <laughs> this real quick? Is that okay? Go for it. So do. I've been promoted. Uh, that's one way to look at it yeah i'm no longer a gittimer certified advisor well i kind of still am i can i still have the title i still earn the title but we have been promoted as gcas up to a glt which is short for a gittimer licensed trainer which is basically what i do anyway taking jeffrey's content i'm licensed to train and teach and coach others on Jeffrey's concepts and content. Uh, so that's the the new promotion that I got recently. But here. all that to say is he's struggling with how to actually introduce himself because it's not rolling <laughs> off the tongue naturally yet. <laughs> you down with GLT? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> and today we're going back to the basics in the podcast with truly creating connections. How do you do it? More after the break. That was nice and easy. What are you talking about? This also <laughs> speaks to a much bigger issue. Providing personal solutions through understanding people. This is the Creating Connections Podcast with Gittimer Certified Advisor Mitch Taylor and Certified Personality Trainer Vicki Musney. Welcome back to Creating Connections. I can't believe we are at Podcast number 101. Crazy. Yeah. Right, at the, right at the two year mark, really. Yeah. I love it. And that's why I wanted this episode to, I wanted to just go back to the basics of why we started this podcast and what our purpose was, why it's called creating connections. And I don't know, I just, I, and I feel like for me, we have to, we have to go back to the very beginning of the book. Yeah. Even though technically the podcast came before the book. First, yes. Yes. The book's only been out a little over a year. Yeah. We haven't talked about it in a while. No. And, uh, and I thought, you know what, let's go back and look at that first week of suggestions. If you're not familiar with the Creating Connections book, 31 Days to Building Stronger and Deeper Relationships, it's one short chapter to read each day. And then they're focused around a theme for the week. So the week one just talks about when you're making new connections. The idea that everywhere we go, we need to be prepared because you never know who you're going to run into, who you're gonna end up having a conversation with, who you might sit next to. And sometimes we're prepared, you know, we're going to a networking event and we're like, okay, I've got, got that hat on yeah. and I'm, I'm ready. But I'm talking about when you are at the grocery store, when you're sitting on an airplane, when you just end up in a situation waiting at the doctor's office, when you just don't know, you know, there's things that, yeah, we know in our head, oh yeah, well, I need to be friendly if I'm trying to meet people, or I should smile, make eye contact, and it seems really basic, but how often do we actually do, do those that. things? <laughs> yeah. And it seems basic to say, oh, carry business cards. Or, you know, if you are an author of a book, carry a book with you. Or if you, you know, have developed something to be able to give out to a bride or a groom or an event pro, have it with you. It, mm -hmm. it seems basic, but you'd be floored at how many don't actually do it. Like you and I will be walking around Mobile Beat coming up. Uh, and yes. we're practicing some of these same things also at Photo Booth Expo. Yeah, we, we don't just tell you to do this um, because we think it's a good idea for you. We, maybe it's the opposite. We actually use the podcast as a reminder to ourselves of what we well, need to be doing. <laughs> hang on, I'm going to do something right now. I'm going to do something right now. So here's, here's, if, here's a, good, uh, a good reward right now. Okay. If you're watching this, stop either Vicky or I at Mobile Beat in Vegas, the Tropicana, and ask us for a Creating Connections bracelet. If you do that, we will give it to you half off. Wait, you're talking about the fully yeah. loaded one? 
Yeah. With over 10 hours of video content. Yeah. That one. Yeah. Sales help. Mm. You're going to get sales help for half off. It's yours for only a hundred bucks versus 200 bucks. So if you stop us and I guarantee you we'll have one on us because I'm going to make sure I have those puppies on. All right. Good thing I have a purse. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have them on us. You stop us there. It's a hundred bucks just for you, just because you watch the podcast, just because you listened and just because you followed through, I'm going to save you a Benji. How's that? Sounds good to me. Is that a deal? Let's do it. All right. So these are things, the basics. So get back to some of the, some of the basics, Vicki. Why don't you cover them? Uh, well, the ones that we picked out for the book, just to pick yeah. those seven, just for fun. The first one is smile, which when I think about it, and we wrote this book before I attended Midwest DJs Live last year. Yes. But I know you weren't there, but Bill Herman made us do an activity in his session where at some point we had to smile and he just wanted us to stay smiling until the end of a certain section. And it was a really long time. And it took effort to mm -hmm. be focused on keeping your smile. Even though it's not hard to smile when you're listening to Bill, it's hard to be as intentional as he wanted us. And his point was that sometimes we just forget. That's not the default, you know, face for some of us, especially us reds, we tend to have yeah, more of a scowl as our resting default thinking. Face. Yeah, <laughs> face, uh-huh, yeah, speak for yourself. <laughs> but also just that the muscles that it uses, you know, it takes, it takes work, it takes effort, it takes practice. It does. So I think about, I think about Bill and that, in that session when I see that. Um, other ones, make eye contact. Yes. You know, and, and I think that goes hand in hand with having a good firm handshake. <laughs> Yes. Absolutely. A firm handshake. I'm not a painful handshake, but don't be floppy. That's just weird. Yeah, no limp you handshakes. Um, the next limp one was handshakes suck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Saying thank you and generally just being polite. Merci beaucoup. And going out of your way to say thank you. Gracias. But saying please, using good manners, and just being a decent human being. Um, keeping your focus on other people, just consciously practicing being aware, looking Sometimes. around the room. Is there someone that I could help right now? Yeah. Is there someone else at this mixer who is feeling as lonely as I am or worse? Who is that person that's sitting all by themselves at the table? Now, again, if you're walking into a crowded restaurant and someone by themselves, that might not be the time to go and strike up a conversation within context. I'm talking about if you're in a networking lunch yeah. and that purpose is to meet people. Preparation. I'm not saying go and bother strangers. <laughs> this is part of what we're talking about here is preparation for the event. Like you need to be mindful of these and other components before you walk in. So smiling, make eye contact, reach out, find someone who is, you know, not, engaged yet and engage yeah. them you engage them with a smile with eye contact mm -hmm. by having things prepared there's so much you can do before taking, you actually get there taking a risk too just even a small risk even just a risk of introducing yourself to someone or you know having a good question ready to ask someone and being the one to initiate the conversation if that's not the norm for you that can be a risk but challenge and, yourself to do that. And have open-ended questions. Mm -hmm. Don't ask questions that are one-word answers. That is not going to make a connection. Yeah. Where, you know, where do you live? Oh, I live in Reno. Where did you grow up? It's a completely different mindset. Especially here, because very few people that live in Reno actually grew up in Reno. Yeah, it's transient. <laughs> it's a transient environment. So, you know, a great question mm. to ask is, you know, not, well, what do you do? Okay, I'm a logger. Uh, I'm a computer IT tech. I'm a singer. I'm in marketing. I, okay, how about a better question? What's your story? Be careful how you say that. <laughs> Sorry, I have teenagers. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I do. Tell me your story is a yeah. great way to start a conversation or get a conversation to the next level. 
So better question to ask, you know, tell me about, you know, so uh, you can say, well, what are you doing here today? Oh, I'm just here to get some networking in. Mm -hmm. What caused you to want to be here today? And it could be just as simple as my boss told me to get my foot in the, in the button, you know, get out there and, and come to this meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that it's way different than I'm here to get some networking in. Mm -hmm. Because you're connecting through humor. Yeah. Humor is one of the biggest connectors there is. Strongest connection you can make is through humor. Mm -hmm. And strongly encourage you to, you know, if you, if you know you're funny, go there. Mm -hmm. You know you're not funny, <laughs> don't. We just told them to take a risk and now you're saying don't. <laughs> well, take a risk if you're funny. Take a risk if you want to get involved with people. Yes, absolutely. But I know. I'm just No. If you're funny, you're not. Vicky's not funny. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's a joke. At least I'm nice. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Other tips. What else you got? Well, the other two were our send mail with a stamp, which is one of my favorites. I know. You know, a good old fashioned handwritten note in the mail. I mean, who doesn't love getting something that's handwritten in the mail? And doesn't happen very often, at least. And I, not, I love December mail, but really the rest of the year when you're not getting and Christmas And we're cards. not talking handwriting font that's printed. We're talking, no, I'm talking about your own, like show somebody that you took the time that you were thinking about them and you Put a stamp on that envelope and put it out in your mailbox or drop to the post office yourself and got it to their house. And then just generally being positive, having a positive attitude. Um, I know there are days when I don't feel like being positive. Like right now when it's slushy and rainy and there's snow blowing sideways outside my window. But I can choose to put a smile on my face. And you know what? The good of it for me is I don't have to leave the house the rest of the day. I get to work from home in my cute little home office. She's in her PJs, I really. can be, I, oh. I, I'm, I'm dressed, I really am. I have done an episode in my pajamas before. Remember so when we interviewed Big did. Daddy and I had the pajamas did, yes. <laughs> But yeah, and I think just having that mindset of, you know, being ready to connect and um, it reminds me of that article that Dave wrote on his blog a while back. Do you remember the one? Um, Are you as glossy as your marketing materials? We're going to talk about that next episode, I think. Yeah, but I think it relates. That'll be next one um, for sure. So quick comments from me on those two. You know, the reality is when you send mail with a stamp, you are personalizing the communication. It comes from your own handwriting which is your fingertips, mm -hmm. which is your arm, which goes up to your body, which is your heart. Mm -hmm. And that is where people know it came from versus just a handwriting font. Because we all get those, right? You get the handwriting font and then you open it up and it's some scam or, or some promotional There's offer. Some long distance telephone something. company you know I mean? in the Philippines that sends those to me because my last name is Filipino and they're always in a really cool handwritten font. I've fallen for it like three times. Yeah. And, I'm like, and now I recognize it. I'm like, oh, this is stupid. Oh, but that's the key. You <laughs> fall for it. But then, and you open it but up. I'm and disappointed. Like, oh my God, it's not mail, oh, right? You open it up. It's not and for me. <laughs> because you, now you've wasted that time and you got all mm. excited and then, you, you know, there's that emotional let down. Yeah. So the, the other key is staying positive. And I've, I try to always be, and I'm not always, trust me, I am not <laughs> always. I try to always be a glass half full guy. Yeah. So that's what you have to do is try to keep that positive mindset as much as possible. And, you know, there's 1,440 choices in every single day. And the reality is you get to choose. That's Creating Connections podcast for today. We are Mitch Taylor. And Vicki Musney. And With no titles. I love it. Yeah, no <laughs> titles. Well, we have a title, but we both have titles. We're just choosing. I know. I guess, to it's more personal. I like it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So this podcast is dedicated to you. To you. Hi.
Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate you being here. If you're looking for more great content, you can go to creatingconnections.biz and subscribe there. Check out the podcast links. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. This podcast is dedicated to helping you provide personal solutions through understanding people better. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Have a great week. Thank you for listening to the Creating Connections podcast with Gittimer Certified Advisor Mitch Taylor and Certified Personality Trainer Vicki Musni. For more information on providing personal solutions through understanding people better, visit creatingconnections.biz.